breaking news guys here we have leaked prototype images of the interior of the new upcoming 2021 ford f-150 these images come to us courtesy of f-150gen14.com forums and there are several of them and in this video i'm gonna go over and show you all of the features that we can see see all of the optional equipment on this lariat model which is kind of a mid-level trim in the ford f-150 lineup and then i'm also going to show you guys how it compares to the other interiors in the segment with all the other full-size half-ton pickup trucks because interiors are getting more and more important these days as these big trucks become more of a family daily to day uh, conveyance and more than just a pickup truck that tows and hauls a lot so let's kick it off right here with this interior image and this is claimed to be a prototype of a lariat model so once again this is not a base truck and it's not a raptor or it's not a limited or it's not a platinum trim level of this truck and one thing is immediately apparent it's a much bigger huge infotainment screen right in the center of this console and dash. Below it are kind of traditional buttons and knobs for the climate control system and for the radio audio control systems like volume and tuning of the radio stations. And I, I think that's important because when you're redesigning a, a truck that's the best selling in the country, it's the best selling vehicle in the country, you don't want to change everything. You just want to improve on what's there and the previous interior of the F-150 that I'll show you in just a couple of minutes uh, was kind of more basic and with some of the more basic materials. And what appears to me here is that Ford is actually stepping up the game, not just on technology, but also materials fit and finish. Is this the best F-150 interior ever? Well, I'm going to hold my final decision until I actually can sit in the truck and actually see the real production model. Uh, so let's kind of go over what we can see in this image and then I'll also show you the center console and actually the gauge cluster which is all digital which is very very cool. So first I want to touch on the steering wheel. Uh, once again stitching looks like a leather steering wheel but the design of the overall steering wheel is a little bit different updated from what's there now. The horn button in the center is a little bit smaller and there is big huge buttons and selections on both sides of the steering wheel. And of course, there is kind of a handhold in the bottom center of the steering wheel itself. Um, well, at first glance, it looks uh, a little bit better, a little bit more modern. And I'm glad they're actually updating the steering wheel as well, not just kind of the dashboard. Moving towards the center, we can see uh, a big metal trim piece going across the center of the dash. And then, of course, there's charger ports on the right. And you can see here AC 120 volt. 20 amp uh, outlet, basically uh, an actual uh, outlet that can run like a laptop or something else, charging some of your accessories. They've had it on this side before. I'm really glad they're keeping it because the passenger or whoever is sitting, uh, maybe even behind you can use that as well. Down below, there are also USB-C and USB chargers. Uh, they might also have a wireless charger down in the cup holder area, right below the center uh, dash area and we've seen that before in the current Super Duty and some other Ford trucks so that's uh, really important. Up here if we move towards the left a little bit there is a tr um, Trailer Pro Backup Assist knob and it looks like Ford is moving it up sort of it was a little bit below the center line of the dash and I guess uh, their customers are liking that feature that helps you back up a trailer with a truck so they moved that button upward and it still looks to be the same. Of course, of course, uh, push button start is still there right by the steering wheel. And down below, uh, let's take a look at a couple of other images. Here we have a kind of a detailed shot of the controls and knobs for the AC system. We can see still the ventilated seats, heated seats. Heated steering wheel button is actually its own hardware button now. You no longer, you no longer have to search for it in the infotainment screen somewhere. So I'm liking that change that Ford did. To the left, you can see a drive mode selector. So I'm thinking what this is, is to control the transmission, shift 
schedules and mapping anywhere from normal to eco, eco for economy to tow haul mode, also an off-road mode potentially or several slippery off-road modes that Ford is doing right now. Integrated trailer brake controller right here also by the steering wheel on your right hand side which is a pretty good placement for that and that's kind of where it is right now. Uh, let's quickly look at the kind of what's actually inside this larger, much larger infotainment screen in the center. And Ford actually released official statement about their upcoming SYNC 4 infotainment system. And they showed some of the features of that system. And it's basically kind of an improvement of what's there now. It also allows you to, of course, run uh, like a, a Wi-Fi hotspot inside the truck. Um, and many other functions. Um, but I want to switch over to this kind of blurry image, and I'm sorry it's really blurry, <laughs> but it, it shows a couple of important pieces of information really fast. First of all, it's all digital. There is a digital tack on the left, speedometer on the right, very big digits so you know exactly what's happening. And right here in the center it says 21.8 MPG. So, of course, we don't know exactly how this truck has been driving, but we can see that 21.8 MPG is a fairly good uh, kind of a day-to-day -day usage uh, fuel economy number. And up here uh, at the top, it says uh, 707 miles to empty with a full tank. If it's a 36-gallon tank, well, that could be about 20 miles per gallon average that this truck is doing. Once again, we don't know if it's a highway or city, but we have some leaked information that suggests uh, that um, on the new Ford F-150 for 2021, they're going to keep their EcoBoost engines. So the twin turbo 2.7, twin turbo uh, 3.5. They're also going to have a hybrid system. And of course, the V8, the 5 liter V8, according to the leaked information, is still continuing for 2021. Once again, Ford has not confirmed this. It's unofficial. This is kind of a leaked prototype image and leaked information based on VIN decoding that people have seen out there. So let me just quickly show you one more thing, which is the center console. You could see the seat, but most importantly, you can see the transmission shifter, which is a lever in the center console. So if you were worried about a knob to do your changing your gears or push button system, uh, don't worry. If you still like that console shifter, it's still there. And there's an M for mode select right there. So still pretty simple and the knob looks to be really, really big and it's leather covered in this Lariat model. How do we know it's a Lariat model? Well, also one of the images actually shows a Lariat badge on this particular um, prototype and it's kind of like sewn into a seat. So it's mid-grade and you can, you can extrapolate from there. If this is what a Lariat trim would be, um, then you might imagine what a platinum or a limited truck with a little bit more wood trim and maybe a little bit nicer materials, nicer leathers, um, nicer trim uh, would actually look like. So let's see how it kind of compares to what's there now. Uh, right here, here's an image of the current F-150 interior and you can see obviously the screen is quite a bit smaller and you know the design, the steering wheel is different so that's kind of what it looks like now as you know. That's what the truck looks like now, the F-150. So how does it compare against some of the others? When the 2019 Ram 1500 came to market, it kind of reset the game, right? It was no longer just about um, how much you know, weight you can carry in your bed or how much you can tow, what kind of four-wheel drive system you had, what kind of brakes and the frame you had. It was also about the interior quality, interior usability, because you're spending a lot of truck, uh, you're spending a lot of time in your truck, so you want to be comfortable, you want to have it usable, you want to have a lot of technology. For some people, that's very important. Uh, of course, they kind of reset the game, and this is one of their interiors on the Laramie trim, which is once again one of their mid-grade trims that's comparable to the Lariat in the Ford. Um, and you can see, um, you know, they're using that 12-inch display, vertical display, and in the Ford, we're seeing more of a horizontal orientation and there is rumors of this screen being anywhere <laughs> up to about 15 inches uh, but I don't think this particular one uh, well it's hard to tell using just this image it's hard to see the scale of it 
but it could be quite quite a large screen it's almost like a giant iPad giant tablet um, inside your screen inside your dash so RAM definitely kind of put the pressure on Ford and I think we're seeing some of the some of that work um, soon coming to the Ford truck of course Chevrolet is also new GM trucks GMC and Silverado Silverado Chevy and the Sierra from the GMC there's here you can see the interior currently available in the Silverado 1500 and it was a very evolutionary update that didn't change a lot of the look and feel I mean they did change the button placement in the center console but not drastically and a lot of people said well why not uh, shouldn't they change it more and there is a rumor this is unconfirmed by Chevrolet and GM that they will be updating their Silverado truck uh, very soon um, and the rumor has to do with the new 2021 Chevy Tahoe on the new Tahoe uh, we know what the interior looks like it's this so the screen is a little bit larger it's a little bit higher on the dashboard and some of the button switches are kind of a little bit uh, maybe a little bit higher quality and a little bit more unique the stitching as well so people are saying this is unofficial that the Silverado may receive something like this or a version of this updated interior in their pickup truck but this will happen 2021 maybe 2022 so still about a year or two away so this is not going to happen immediately so if you if you don't like the Silverado interior you know um, you may not you may have to wait quite a bit more to see an update it's not gonna happen immediately of course Nissan Titan for 2022 is also new they've updated redesigned their interior uh, really thoroughly so here's what they have this is a Pro 4X off-road version of the Nissan Titan for 2020 they went to a larger screen about a 9 inch screen now in the center and a larger digital display in the gauge cluster and they've stepped up their materials their stitching their details their accessories so this game is improving um, even in the new titan um, the trend is still there towards kind of more luxurious more high-tech interiors and here's one of the older interiors in the segment this is a 2020 toyota tundra and this interior kind of has been almost the same for a few years they've changed it recently they changed the gauge cluster on the new tundra with the new driver assistance technologies and their cruise control adaptive cruise system but uh, this is what the tundra currently looks like so it looks like ford is stepping up the game in a big way with the interiors let me know what you think in the comments below did they are they doing enough uh, would you, do you like what you see from the new ford uh, let us know in the comments and of course on tfltruck.com we also have all this discussion and all these images published as well. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.